Thanks for joining us today. Now, first question I have is you've been in the sector for so many years now, almost as it began. Can you give us a brief background for those in the States who aren't familiar with your background here in the U.S., just a brief background on you and, you know, and, and what you've done here in China? Well, I was based in actually the U.S. between 1985 and 1994, and then coming out from Stanford Business School, I moved out here to Beijing, so I've been you know, back since 1994. Uh, it's my third startup company now, first of, all, of which we actually, I was actually in an uh, early-stage um, venture capital firm, a Regina Capital, where we invested in both media entertainment companies as well as manufacturing companies. And uh, like you mentioned, around 97, 98 is kind of where Chinese internet starts emerging and uh, I met the founder of Sohu.com, uh, Charles Dong, in 98 and I went in as the CFO, then the COO, then the president of the company uh, over a six year period of time. And then 2005, I decided to take a sabbatical, and uh, after which uh, I started my own company, which is now Yoku.com, the leading online video uh, site in China. And tell us a little bit more about Yoku. What is your um, business model? Who's your target audience? And what separates you from the other players in the market? Sure. Uh, Yoku.com, when people think about it from the U.S., immediately they may relate us to YouTube. Now, in some ways, that's true. From a product standpoint, uh, we are an online video platform. But I think the significant difference is we view Yoku uh, as an online video platform, not just for amateur video, but as much for professional content as we do for amateurs. And so we're an online video platform for many, many television stations as well as TV and uh, uh, film production companies. The reason being in the U.S., the media landscape is very concentrated, whereas in China, it's fragmented as well as geographically focused. Uh, Hundreds of television stations, thousands of film and TV production companies. So uh, we've been able to syndicate uh, a lot of this content with a a whole variety of different partners. Now, in terms of differentiation, besides the traditional media corporation that we are very strong on, uh, another area on the amateur video side that we should push on is what we call Paikke, citizen video. And we are very famous for having very, very fast response uh, uploaded videos from uh, from basically uh, our users. Uh, To give you an example, the recent earthquake, a very unfortunate incident, of course, but within 10 minutes uh, of the earthquake, there are already the first video uploaded on our website. And now there are tens of thousands of uh, earthquake-related videos from all around China that's been submitted uh, to Yoku.com. Now, I think in terms of the another very important why uh, Yoku.com uh, grew so quickly uh, is because of one word, speed. I think we have the fastest download speed, both from a search standpoint or from a viewing standpoint or from a delivery standpoint, uh, upload standpoint, that users find it very user-friendly. And we've been consistently ranked number one on all user uh, kind of uh, behavior kind of indexes. And uh, in terms of scale, uh, Yoku.com, as of the end of last year, Nielsen Net Ratings did a site census on Yoku.com and were the first uh, online video website to break 100 million daily video views. Now, if you think back, it uh, also took YouTube a year to get to 100 million uh, daily video views. Uh, for them, it was from 05 to 06, and for us, it was from 06 to 07. So the tremendous growth that YouTube observed in the U.S. is something that you, Yoku also achieved in China. Now, what stage are we catching you at here for Yoku, and where, do you, where are you guys headed? Where do you hope to be in even a few years? Sure. I think... Uh, for Yoku, uh, we beta launch in June of 06 and officially launch in uh, December of 06, but we've grown r- rapidly uh, ever since. Now, we're in 2008. Uh, really, for us, for the entire industry, as well as for Yoku, is the beginning of really online video monetization. After having proven uh, the success of our product model and a large user base right now, uh, we're really talking about going forward uh, to build a business model, which is what we hope to prove within the next 18 months. Now, and we've had a lot of good traction with major clients, uh, for example, China Mobile, Samsung, Dell, uh, HP, Nike, a lot of uh, international as well as top local clients that are 
uh, using Yoku as a platform to reach their consumers. Uh, and unlike uh, traditional text and picture portals, we can offer very, very visually impactful as well as storytelling form of video advertising, uh, which has shown very strong results both in brand recall uh, as well as um, traditional click-through rates. Now let's go back to Victor Ku, the entrepreneur, for a second. A lot of our audience is based in the U.S. A lot of them are new to China business. Um, for that person watching right now who's not necessarily in the tech sector but just interested in China business in general, what advice would you offer them? Sure, and uh, certainly I am an early bird in the Chinese internet industry. And I think the field has changed a lot in the last 10 years. And uh, if you really think about uh, setting up an entrepreneurial company, I think there are three essential elements. Okay, so clearly uh, the team, uh, capital, as well as the viable concept or in business model. So those are three areas in the beginning, like if you go back 10 years, if you rewind back, those three areas or all areas that actually, uh, besides opportunity, there were a lot of market opportunity, in terms of team and capital, they were very, very hard to come by. Now, uh, over the last dozen years, the infrastructure or the value chain of Chinese internet industry has developed tremendously uh, with a tremendous amount of uh, infusion of uh, international venture capital as well as Chinese venture capital, as well as a team with all these uh, NASDAQ listed companies and a lot of startups that has happened over the last 12 years. And basically, uh, you can relatively easier to hire an experienced team. For example, for Yoku.com, most of our team came from uh, top-notch internet as well as television companies uh, such as you know, Baidu, Sohu, Sina, uh, Focus Media, and so forth. And we also attract talent from places like CCTV uh, because really, really a convergence between internet and television. Now my last question is an interesting one. Um, even though you are from the U.S. and, and, and you're um, educated there, your company is what I would consider a Chinese homegrown company. What do you think is the difference between a Chinese homegrown company or what advantages does it have versus the YouTubes that we see? Or even just in, if you're talking about the tech sector in general, American tech companies coming into China. What's the difference between a, a foreign company and a homegrown Chinese? Uh, you make a very good point. If you look back at the last um, 10 to a dozen years of Chinese internet history, uh, the dominant players in each segment of the market are clearly very local. I think uh, besides the obvious um, language or cultural differences, uh, the understanding of the market as well as dealing with the government as well as key constituencies, whether it's users, clients, or agencies, um, a local understanding is critical and paramount to a success of the company. And also, I think the fast response and the speed that I was talking about before is much easier for a, a core team that's based here and can make uh, decisions very quickly because Internet is such a fast-moving industry. And for companies with international headquarters, uh, that you know, kind of past the Pacific Ocean is just too long for the Internet area. So that's an, uh, something that makes a significant difference between a local competitor and even a globally very strong competitor. Victor, thank you so much for your time today, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.